Pilgrim Hills, I was there multiple times every year. It's a sacred space because we've had so many you know, powerful experiences there. The woods, big rocks, the cross, Cardiac Hill. That they've had a moment on a path or here at the lake or at Vesper Hill. And you, you could have been coming here for 15, 20, 30, 50 years. And there's not many places that are this peaceful, this quiet. You get to find out who you are. For some people, that's where they met the person that they married. That was a place that I depended on as having that opportunity. So there was a deep sadness when I realized that that was not going to be available to others any longer. The number of kids attending camps is on the rise, and yet the number of camps where those kids attend seems to be diminishing. We're not hitting the target groups because they're not reading the same media that we're presenting it to. What's fascinating about that is everyone's then accepted. And so campers at camp have the opportunity to be their real self and to explore and become who they really are in that moment. Frankly, that's the way life is supposed to be. And we're supposed to accept others in community with each other, and camp does that. Something just happens when you're in that environment. You're away from all the technology and things that are pulling you off in other directions, and there's this, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's hard to explain unless you've been in that atmosphere. And your friends you make and people that are around you, you can just be yourself, and it really builds self-confidence. As long as we have camp and as long as these people are still open in their hearts and in their minds to new things, that we can do whatever we put our minds to.